good morning. Glad you stopped by. I've uh, just about got the uh, this big cable fighter ready to handle. Uh, we've got the bevels cut. Uh, the false edge has been done and the shoulders are finished. Uh, the blade's been hardened and tempered, so we're getting real, real close on this. Uh, this morning I'm going to put the finished edge on this using the bubble jig, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. The, uh, um, I'm going to put a 12 degree edge on this blade. Um, make sure when you do this that you, uh, you put the, the degree wedge on the platen, put the bevel on top of the degree wedge, and then put the bubble onto the blade. You can put it on the bevel, on the ricasso handle, doesn't make any difference as long as you do it the same on both sides. I've already adjusted this bubble to the 12 degree angle, um, so we're, we're ready to go ahead and start to um, sharpen this blade. The, uh, since my hands are so close to the belt, I made up this uh, little holder. It's a stack of rare earth magnets. It's got tape on it so it won't scar the blade. And it's kind of an extension uh, that I can put on the blade and keep my fingers out of the way, which is uh, <laughs> very important. So this edge already is at uh, .019. It's already fairly thin. So I'm using a 400 uh, Trizac belt uh, to do this and it's only going to take a couple passes on each side to uh, to make it uh, a working edge. So. Just a couple passes on each side is going to be fine for a working edge. If I want to pop hairs, this is, this is how I finish them. I use this 4x10 diamond stone, set the 12 degree wedge on top of the stone, put the blade on the on the wedge. I do not change sides. I'll make enough passes on one side to get the wire edge to roll in this direction. Test it with my nail. And if I have it leaning this way, I'll switch to the other side. And all I want to do on this side is just get it to bend back. Just getting it thinned out. Top of the 12 degree wedge. It usually takes about half the amount on the second side as it does from the first one. After you get that to roll back up on this side, strange as this may seem, but this works, I bring the blade up to about 30 to 40 degrees. 
and make one pass on the stone and just and it'll tear the wire edge uh, right off and leave that real crisp hair popping edge on it. A lot of different ways to do this. This just happens to be uh, happens to be my. Uh, glad you stopped by today. Uh, I'm gonna uh, this afternoon. I'm gonna got the shoulders cut. I'm gonna put the guard on, and uh, hopefully we'll have this uh, finished uh, by the end of the weekend. Again, thanks for stopping by, and I uh, hope to see you soon.